for many today that former Governor Bob McDonnell will spend two years in prison for corruption. We broke the news yesterday when a judge handed down that sentence. But as we've investigated, was the trial judge the right judge to hear the McDonnell case? Andy Fox is in the newsroom with what that judge had to say about that today. Andy? Well, 70, he's had no comment on what we've reported until yesterday. Without naming us, he addressed the issues we brought up. We've been reporting on Judge James Spencer and the past history between his wife, Judge Margaret Spencer, and Bob McDonald. I would nominate Wiley F. Menschel of Virginia Beach for the Virginia Supreme Court. February 1997, then state delegate Bob McDonald working against the appointment of Judge Margaret Spencer to the state Supreme Court. She is the wife of McDonald's trial and sentencing judge, James Spencer, who before sentencing McDonald felt he needed to address the issue raised in our report. Judge James Spencer said, the name and personality of Robert F. McDonald didn't register on my radar screen until he ran for attorney general. That was in 2005. But McDonald also voted against Margaret Spencer in 1998 to become a Richmond Circuit Court judge. McDonald was only one of 18 to vote against her. She won overwhelmingly in the House of Delegates with 78 votes. Spencer continued, he didn't fully register with me until he ran for governor. Even then, the only thing I knew about him was what I could glean from political advertisements. Former federal prosecutor and Commonwealth attorney Harvey Bryant and McDonald friend thinks Judge Spencer should have disclosed this past history. Assuming that it comes to the judge's consciousness uh, at some point, um, then it would have been appropriate, in my view, for him to have raised that and let the parties say whether or not they felt it was a conflict. And the U.S. Code requires a judge to disclose. He shall also disqualify himself where he has a personal bias or prejudice concerning a party. We well, asked McDonald's attorneys about this issue after sentencing. Is there anything you want to say about no. the stories that we've got? No. Judge Spencer made it clear before sentencing McDonald the bottom line. I don't know him and he doesn't know me. And it was at that point that Judge James Spencer sentenced McDonald to two years in prison, way below sentencing guidelines, very fair, showing great mercy. McDonald will appeal the convictions, though, because he disagrees with what the jury decided based on the jury instructions, which he is arguing were flawed, and those jury instructions were finally approved and written by Judge Spencer. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.